Hi guys, Alice Taylor down at St Anne's Old Links and very, very exciting. I've managed to get my hands very quickly on the new tailor-made Gapper. Now there's going to be three different versions. There's going to be a low, a mid and a high. And this is a completely new category of club from TaylorMade. Right then guys, so the Gapper, the idea of this is to fit in between your longest iron and your shortest metal wood. So most guys will get to that point where it might be six iron, it might be five iron, it might be four iron, but then they hit that solid and we see that good carry distance, but they might find that they've got five wood that they heat great. And the idea is this new category from TaylorMade, the gapper, this is where it's gonna fit in and either low, mid or high is gonna be very down to the individual, how you deliver the club, how we're looking to launch the ball and how we need that golf ball to perform. So we can see the pictures on screen. We've got the low, which is much more of a thinner head that's going to promote a lower ball flight. We've got the mid, which has got a little bit more front to back on the, the footprint. And we've got the high, which is a little bit deeper. So I've got the gapper high, four, which is 22 degrees in stiff shaft. So I'm going to hit five balls. I'm going to talk you through kind of looks and feel and I'm gonna look at some numbers and see how this performs. So certainly with the Open Championship, a lot of the guys are putting these kind of things in. I believe Dustin Johnson's got a mid in there. I think Tiger's got a low. But I'm sure looking at the coverage, you'll see lots and lots of this. But let's have a quick close-up of the head on this one. I'll put some images later on on the video of the different ones, because like I said, I've only got this one here. But if we look at the head, we can see there's a, a little bit of weight in the back here. We've still got kind of a speed slot underneath. I know the head's full of speed foam and it says that on the toe. And we can see a very different looking head from top. So, like I said, this is the high. So we're expecting for a 22 degree. This should hit the ball a decent height for me. So let's go five shots, see how it feels, see how it performs. So good strike, not quite turning over. Pitching round about that 200 yard mark, which I'd be more than happy with with a four iron. So that was good 204. Okay, shot two. So again, feels very, very easy to hit. So any of you guys that watch my videos will be very, very aware that anything that's long, that's easy to hit, has always got an opportunity of going in my bag. 212 carry, so that's long for a, a four iron loft, but we're expecting with graphite shaft and more of a metal wood design that we're gonna get some speed off this. a bit more of my usual shape there. Might get a couple more yards out of that. Oof. Speed foam definitely doing its job, so we like that. And let's go last couple with Gapper. Wowzers, that is very, very easy to hit. And certainly for shots into a green, you know, these look nice and high. I mean, we'll have a look at peak height in a second. But one final one, and the bad news is the tailor-made rep, rep is sat behind the camera. You might not be getting this back. Hey, Al. Okay, last one. A little bit left. Didn't feel quite as good a strike, so it'll be interesting to look numbers-wise. Still very, very good. Okay then, guys, so first impressions on looks. Like I said, this is just the high. So even though this one maybe doesn't fit my eye as much as I expect maybe the other two do, performance-wise, they were great. So let's look at some numbers and see how Gapper High 
performs. Okay guys, so we look at numbers, we've got ball speed of nearly 140 mile an hour, which for me is really, really quick. We've got a launch angle of 15 degrees, which is good, kind of where I'd kind of hope to probably launch four iron. Um, backspin of just over 4,000, so there's still plenty of spin there, which is good. Peak height though, this is the big one, 38 yard peak height. So this is high, it's soft. We can land that on a green and stop the ball and carrying an average of 213. First one at 204 is a little bit back, but you look at those last four, some real consistency in there. Right then guys, so we looked at the numbers there. I mean, super, super impressive. And even though we might say for me, I have got three iron in my bag. It's kind of not always great. And to be fair, it's a P790 and it does a really, really good job but it probably only hits the ball similar kind of length to that through the air. So I'll be interested as more and more stuff drops in with the low and the mid to see with the different lofts in there, kind of, can I plug those gaps even better in my bag? But for any of you guys who get to that longest iron and think that works really, really well, but then with the shortest metal wood, you kind of go, that's great, but I've got that 20, 30 yard gap in there. I've never really been able to find a club that works. TaylorMade should definitely have something in here with the gapper. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Comment below and let me know if you've already tried them. If you have, what's in the bag? And if it's not in the bag, why didn't it go in the bag? Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.